high current PCB design and its real world applications designing high current printed circuit boards for real world applications seems a complex and time consuming process, but it is not so. Knowing the right materials and components, as well as the appropriate layout and design techniques, can help you create efficient and reliable PCBs that can handle high currents and ensure your products are able to operate in the real world. High current PCBs are becoming increasingly important for a variety of real world applications. From industrial applications to the automotive industry, high power PCBs are there for a wide range of purposes. Hence, it is becoming increasingly important for designers to be able to create these boards with a high level of precision and accuracy. Here, we will discuss how to design high current PCBs for real world applications. You will get an insight into designing these boards, various components, and the materials required. You will also get some tips that can help you get the best results from your designs. The basics of high current PCB design The design of a high current printed circuit board requires attention to detail to ensure the integrity of the board, as well as the safety of the user. Engineers use high current PCBs to power and control larger, and more complex circuits. To design a high power printed circuit board, it is important to understand the basics of current flow and power dissipation as well as the electrical circuit elements such as resistors, capacitors, and inductors. The main elements of a high current design include trace width, trace spacing, thermal reliefs, and plane isolation. Trace width and trace spacing determine the amount of current that can safely flow through the PCB. Thermal reliefs help improve heat dissipation whereas plane isolation helps to reduce interference between adjacent traces. It is also important to consider the power requirements of the circuit when designing a high current PC board. The board should be designed to handle higher than expected current levels, as well as be able to withstand temperature spikes from components on the board. It is also important to select quality components that can handle the expected voltage and current levels. Moreover, the PCB should be designed with an adequate ground plane that can carry away heat generated by the components on the board. Applying the basics to real-world applications High current printed circuit boards are essential for many applications in the real world, including Automotive medical telecommunications robotics industrial applications PCBs for high power applications must be properly designed to meet the requirements of the application and to minimize any potential risks from electrical or thermal overloads. There are many things to consider when designing a PCB for real world applications. These include proper component selection, power distribution design thermal management, signal routing, and more. Component selection is critical when designing a high current PCB. Components should be chosen based on their current rating, voltage rating, maximum operating temperature, and size. Additionally, the choice of components for high current applications will ensure the board can handle the higher power requirements safely. Power distribution is an important factor in this case and helps ensure that all parts of the board receive adequate current and prevents overheating or overloading of certain components. This includes optimizing the trace widths, ensuring proper grounding and bypassing, and minimizing the number of vias used. Thermal management is also key when designing a high current board. Heat sinks and other methods should be used to dissipate heat from the components to prevent them from being damaged or failing due to excessive temperatures. It is also important to choose components that have low thermal resistance and are ideal for high current applications. Signal routing is another important aspect of such circuit boards. The signal routing should be designed with consideration for the power supply requirements voltage drops, and transmission line effects. 
it is important to consider the characteristics of the signal lines, including line widths, length matching, and impedance matching. It is important to keep the above considerations in mind to ensure the board will function correctly and safely in its intended environment. The importance of quality components High power PCBs require high quality components to operate efficiently and safely. Low quality components can cause problems like excessive heat, voltage spikes, and even fire. Quality components have better performance reliability, and safety than lower quality components. Using quality components is important for a high power PCB design because they allow for more efficient power management and help reduce the risk of potential failures. Quality components also extend the life of your printed circuit board, making it last longer and perform better for longer. When designing a high power PCB, you should always use components with the highest possible quality rating. For example, if you are using inductors, you should use parts that have been rated for currents higher than what your circuit will require. This will ensure that your design can handle the load without overloading and potentially causing damage. Moreover, high signal components should be carefully selected to ensure they meet the design requirements. Components should be compatible with the same voltage and current as the system they are being used in. It is also important to use components that can handle the temperatures that your system will experience during operation. It is essential to use quality components as they help ensure that your design operates efficiently, safely, and reliably. By taking the time to select the right components for your design, you can help ensure that it runs smoothly and meets all of your expectations. You should also consider any environmental factors that may affect your design, such as extreme temperatures or high levels of humidity. Taking these into account when selecting components can help ensure that they operate properly under these conditions. Besides, it is important to research the manufacturer of any component before purchase to make sure their products meet industry standards and have the necessary certifications. So, designing a successful high current PCB requires careful selection of quality components and attention to environmental factors. Taking the time to do this upfront will help save you from costly repairs or replacements down the line. With careful planning and attention to detail, you can create an efficient, reliable, and safe design. Thermal management when dealing with high current PCBs, proper thermal management is essential to ensure that the board can handle the heat generated by the power output. Thermal management is an important concept for engineers to understand when designing a PCB. Thermal management, or thermal control, is the process of managing heat generated by electrical components on a PCB. The heat generated by the electrical components can lead to significant performance degradation or even failure. Thermal management helps maintain the temperature of the components at a safe level so that they can operate optimally. There are several methods of thermal management that you can use in a design. One such method is heat sinking which involves transferring heat from the component to a finned metal plate, or heat sink, which dissipates heat into the surrounding environment. Heat sinks are typically made of aluminum and involve a design to enhance the surface area for better heat transfer. When it comes to thermal management for high current PCBs, you should consider a few things to ensure efficient and effective management of heat, such as 1. Design the PCB layout with an understanding of the expected heat flow. Consider the location of components and other elements that can generate heat, as well as the distance between them. 2. Use vias, traces, and planes to create a low resistance path for the heat to move through the board. This will help to disperse heat more effectively. 3. Consider adding additional heat sinks or other cooling devices such as fans or liquid cooling systems, 
to help manage the temperature of the board. For use materials that have a low thermal conductivity, such as FR4 or other plastic-based materials, when designing your PCBs. 5. Monitor the temperature of the board regularly with temperature sensors, and make any necessary adjustments to your design to keep the temperature at a safe level. By following these tips, you can ensure that your high current PCBs can efficiently manage the heat generated by their components, keeping them perfectly running and avoiding any potential damage caused by overheating. Final thoughts Designing high current printed circuit boards for real world applications requires a certain level of expertise and knowledge. As an engineer, you need to understand the components, their ratings, and the PCB layout to ensure safe and efficient operation. The above principles can help you have an overview of the design principles, best practices, and guidelines to help you design high-power PCBs for various real-world applications. You must select quality components that can handle the expected voltage and current levels. Moreover, the PCB should be designed with an adequate ground plane that can carry away heat generated by the components on the board. Proper component selection, power distribution design, thermal management and signal routing are all essential elements of designing a high current PCB that meets the requirements of the application. Would like to know more about the high current PCB design or printed circuit board assembly? Email us at sales at nconline.com at sales at nconline.com at sales